Hey, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to Crystal Caverns. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. Check it out. We can make a real dramatic scene here. Lost in the tundra. A man alone. Left to survive in the frozen earth. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, check it out. So we got some pineapple farms growing behind us. So pineapples are kind of handy. Um, to be honest, in the main scheme of things, they are pretty much useless because they only do about a half a hunger hunch of food. But, as you guys saw from that little montage, we are getting plenty of monster flesh, man, or the uh, zombie flesh, or rotten flesh, whatever it's called. Um, so we have quite a bit of jerky going on. I've got some that have just dried out here. Um, and in this chest here, we've got 17 more pieces, which is not a lot, but it's going to last us a little while. And I've got a few drops of random food here and there. And then, we also got lucky, and we got a potato from a zombie, so we're going to have to set up some sort of little mini potato farm and see if we can uh, multiply this one potato, which would be nice. Um, I also got a sleeping bag, which is really handy for traveling, so I went uh, kind of around the area here, probably about like 500 by 500, and if I turn on our mini-map options, back where'd they go? Uh, marker options. Um, you can see, over there... I was finding slimes on the ground, which uh, is kind of an indication that there might be a slime island up in the sky somewhere. But we're already, if you check out right up here in our coordinates, you can see that we're at Y133. So I'm not real sure how high those slime islands spawn, but I figure it's probably fairly close. I mean, we still, I guess, we've got about another 100 blocks up or so that things can be built. So... I don't know, that might be worth checking out here pretty quick, but now that we have, I found those slimes, I got some slime balls, and I'm kind of curious, I know that there's a thing called a fish trap, I've used these before in Hypermine, um, and they take string wood, which we have plenty of string and wood, and this guy, which takes a slime ball, and it looks like we can use, can we use the, uh, the blue slime for this? Uses. So, yeah, we can. Cool. So we may try to make some of these, um, which would be really nice because we could actually get some fish that way. I've done some fishing. I've got 24 cooked fish. That's about like two fish rods worth of just me standing up here at night waiting for zombies to come and uh, fishing in this little pond here that I've got lit up with all these torches so it doesn't freeze over. So that would be really handy. So let's go ahead and see if we can make one of those real quick. Um, we got... Whoops, we got wood, so we only need four pieces of wood. We need four pieces of string. Actually, we need one, two, three, four pieces of string. Let's try this out real quick. If I can remember the recipe off the top of my head. Okay, cool. So, and then it's uh, wood like this, string, and then a lead in the middle. All right, cool. So, I think that these guys, let's go ahead and sleep real quick. I don't want to worry about zombies and stuff right now. I think that these guys work in kind of like a three by three area. So, um, can we put it, if I put it here, we may actually need to dig some of this out real quick. Um, let's try this. We're going to put it right here in the middle of this. Okay, so we set this down here, and then what I'm going to do, hopefully, that will help increase the rates of this thing, is dig out one more block underneath it. So it's completely surrounded by water. That would be really nice. So I'll have to come back and kind of check this periodically and see if we can catch anything from here. Because uh, fish would be much nicer than um, the zombie flesh. We got a fishing rod already. And what I'll probably end up doing, if you guys saw from the Hypermind video that I did not too long ago, as this fills up with fish, I will take it and uh, fill each slot with fish so we don't really have to worry about getting a bunch of junk inside this thing um, and kind of really increase the productivity of it with catching fish. So um, we'll come back and check that here in a little bit. But what I want to do real fast is I did a little bit of mining. I went and got some iron and stuff um, so I could actually harvest things other than just iron and basic ores and then I went over and checked out that meteor man I gotta say that was kind of a letdown I thought it was gonna be a bunch of iron and a bunch of really good stuff but turns out it's probably probably is really good stuff but I don't really have a use for it just yet um, or at least I don't know of one so 
<laughs> yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff in here that we could probably use later on. But for now, I think it's kind of useless to us. So we've got a bunch of stuff from Reactor Craft, which I know is... Uh, um, there may be some starter stuff there, but I, I kind of figure that's more like in-game stuff to me anyway. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I haven't really looked into it too much. But uh, I went... The My main goal was to find iron and some Certus Quartz dust. So with the Certus Quartz dust, now that I have, I think, just enough, we can actually make a grindstone. Can I get in here, please? Um, and that way we can actually start doubling our ores. So if I look in here, where is it? Here we go. So I know we're going to need some stone. So let's get some of this stone cooking up. Um, I also melted like a stack of char or stack of wood logs into charcoal. So we have that to work with us right now. Um, I also got quite a bit of coal and a few other random things here and there. So we should be good. Uh, let's look this up. Grindstone. Make that. That is not what I want. What is it called? I thought it was called a grindstone. Oh, it's two words. Okay. So we need stone, wooden gear, and certus quartz dust. Uh, or we could use nether quartz dust, but I don't have any of that. So um, let's set this up. Oh, we need wooden sticks first. Or, uh, excuse me, what are they called? Yeah, wooden sticks. That's, what, that's right. I know what I'm doing. Where are my sticks? There they are. Cool. So we'll make a wooden gear. And then I believe we're also going to need a crank, which we do like that. Yep. Um, what else? I think that was it. So we just need this smooth stone now. We've got plenty. And uh, let's get some of this. So, so what is it? Stone, stone, stone. Right? Yep. Nether quartz or quartz that and then cobblestone cool all right so this is going to help a lot and uh we are running out of room really quickly here but uh where do you want to put this i guess we could put it here no that's weird hey i got an idea let's do hmm I don't know, man. Let's. Can we do it here? Like that? Is that weird? Is it weird to have this in the floor? Can I still access it? I can. Um, okay, cool. So we got this all set up. And this is going to allow us to multiply our ore. Pretty much like basically from uh, everything that we've ever used before and modded. We can stick in here and it's going to grind it into dust. And uh, it'll give us two dust for each ore. So if we just sit here and grind away at this, this should double our ore, hopefully. And, uh, did that work? We got one iron ore. Why? I guess we hadn't grounded up enough. Let's see. Come on! Punch faster! Okay, so two iron dust. And now we can cook these up in the furnace. This furnace? Yeah, we'll go ahead and take these. Uh, oop. And where'd it go? Stick those in there, and we can get some iron that way. So that's pretty good, but that's going to take forever. So I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's head downstairs. I'm actually going to show you something really cool. Uh, when I was doing my cave and stuff, just collecting some of the stuff that we needed to kind of really move forward this episode instead of running around like our heads got cut off, um, I found some pretty neat stuff, dude. Not going to lie. So let's head. Where is it? It's further down. Yeah, it's right here. Check this out. Dun, dun, dun. I found a zombie spawner. So this is awesome. I could not have asked for anything better than this right now. Because we can use this for food. Um, at least until we get some basic plants and get that potato farm up and going. And uh, we can actually eventually use this for maybe a soul shard or just basic experience farm. Which would be awesome. So um, I found that. And then further down this cave where I was getting my iron and coal. When I came down here before, I didn't really have anything other than a stone pickaxe, so I left a bunch of the ores and stuff in the wall so we could come back and get them later on. Um, but if you see, where'd it go? At this red waypoint over there, I forget how we got over there to begin with. Probably down this way, but now I'm gonna be lost and can't find my way out. Um, there's a spider spawner. Actually, you know what? I didn't harvest the chest, so let's go do that real quick. Let's do that. That'll be good. Oh, it's right here. So, uh, we got a spider farm in here, which we really 
don't necessarily need right now because we have plenty of string, which is really the only thing that we can get from these guys. Cocoa beans, bucket, um, a brown mushroom. That's good. We can actually start farming those um, because we got red mushrooms upstairs. Uh, string, apples, bread, gunpowder. So nothing too crazy, but it is loot, and we could use every little bit that we can get our hands on right now. So um, that's a plus, I guess, but we're going to head back upstairs. Actually, you know what? We're not done yet. We're not done. So, this is just one of the normal cave systems. This is like something you would find in normal vanilla Minecraft. But we're going to go check out the caverns, man. The big caves that this whole series is kind of named after, or based after. So, let's go check that out. And I think, honestly, we're going to be moving downstairs very soon. Uh, because the upstairs, there's just really not a lot that we can do at this point. So, let's head down here. I got all my little poke holes here. I was looking for good stuff, but there's a whole bunch of nothing here. Um, minus some coal and a few bits of iron here and there, but yeah, so. <gasps> oh, we have a pig. We have pig. We have pork. Um, this is good. He wasn't down here before. He must have spawned over here on these uh, the grass blocks. So as you can see, we have grass blocks down below underground, um, which is Good, man. We can actually use this for a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of snow, which is crummy, but uh, that's good, man. I'm excited about this guy. He needs to stick around for a little while. Don't you go anywhere, dude. You stay down here. Stay put until I can set up a farm for you. Um, but yeah, so we head over here, and as you can see, things are very much alive underground, which is awesome, dude. That's why I love this mod so much. So we have a lot of uh, vines and stuff here. It's a little bit more overgrown. We got some roots growing down out of the ceiling. Uh, some more vines, stalactites and stalagmites. These guys, I don't know. Um, some of them, they give you this thing. Um, a glow shard. And from what I've read with the Cave Gen mod... This used to be a way for you to create light. So you used to be able to make like a lantern or something out of these glow shards. But they don't do anything anymore. So all I can really use these guys for, let's see, uses. I can make a bounce pad. And I don't really, I don't understand that. So I don't know if that's maybe like a conflict problem that I have set up since I've done all of. Uh, dude, it's huge in my hand. Look at that. That's so weird. Does the light follow me with this thing? No, it doesn't. I don't know. It's bizarre, man. I don't really know what to do with those things, but uh, I'll have to do some research and see about what we can do or can use those things for. But welcome to the caverns, man. Check this out. So, you thought the surface was dangerous. This place is awful. Um, <laughs> this place down here was super swarmed with mobs. I had to come down here and clear them out and uh, light it all up because they started following me up the stairs. So, yeah. But, as you can see, we have some caverns down below, man. So I think right down there in that area, that's about the bottom floor. Um, which everything is mostly flat around that area. We can really travel a long distance from there. Um, but up above, you kind of get these like little little coves and caverns and little bridges and stuff like that and uh, I'm actually noticing a tree over there that maybe we need to go try to check out here pretty soon um, we got some crystals and a ton of mobs all over the place so we're gonna have to be careful like real careful but uh yeah so I'm kind of thinking we may end up moving down into this area minus the spider infestations uh, get out of here guy I guess this place isn't lit up very well, but uh, yeah, we may end up moving up, moving in down here because I think we're gonna have more room for one. It's gonna be safer, and uh, we don't really have to worry about going up and down too much. So I don't know, man. I don't know. But uh, let's head back upstairs real quick. We're gonna take care of some other stuff, and I think we're gonna come down here. We're gonna try to make our way over to that tree and uh, see if we can get some more food in that way, since food is really kind of our main concern right now. Alright, so this is something pretty cool that I didn't notice before. If we use uses on our little red mushrooms here, um, we can actually do a lot of stuff here. With the magical crops, we can get essence and we can actually make mycelium. But as soon as we get silk touch, um, not really going to be a problem because we have plenty of that around. Uh, but if we go back, we can actually do some really awesome stuff. Mushroom stew is like our normal stuff, but we can 
smelt these into dried red mushrooms, and they do one and a half hunger, um, which is really kind of handy because since that I found a couple of these down there in those caves, I've planted them around, and they are spreading pretty nicely here. So um, we could just harvest a bunch of these up, just make sure to leave one. I think it's like a five by five area or something. And uh, they will just continue to keep growing, which is nice. And uh, we can have some food this way. And so now that I got some brown mushrooms growing over here too, I'll start harvesting those and planting those around. And uh, we can actually make some mushroom stew, which I think does a little bit more hunger than anything that we've actually used so far. But let's check these out. So uh, I don't know if they give us like any negative effects or anything. I don't really think that they would. Who am I hearing? Baby zombie. Where... Is he? Hello? Uh. Oh, there he is. He's stuck in a cobweb, man. <laughs> he's got a sword. All right, let's get him while he's stuck in a cobweb. All right, good. All right, so mushrooms. Negative effects? No. Okay. Oops. Hey, that's really good, man. That's a good source of food for us. Um, they don't grow very fast, but I think it might be because they're on the surface of the earth. Um, I think they need like to be below a certain light level. I've never really made a mushroom farm, so I don't know how their mechanics work, but um, that is interesting. Let's go check our fish trap real quick. Hopefully we got some good stuff. Four fish, not too bad, man. We got some string. Um, let's spread these guys out, and then we'll start collecting more fish that way. That's probably gonna actually, you know what? We're gonna take those guys and leave that guy in there, because I think there is a chance for right now we could probably get some good stuff like leads, uh, slime balls, and maybe some other stuff that we're gonna need. And to be honest, we got enough slime balls. We could probably make a couple more of those, which I may end up doing. So we'll just have to see. But yeah, so I think for now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grind up some of this iron that we have here. I'm going to make some proper tools and weapons. And then I think we're going to try to go conquer that other tree down there. So uh, let's do this. All right, so I think we're good. We've got our iron smelting up here. Um, I was able to deck ourselves out with some fresh iron armor. Um, looking fresh. <laughs> uh, we also got some tools and stuff, so I think we're good to go ahead and head down now. So um, I'm really not sure what the best way is to go about getting over to that tree. Um, we don't have like any ender pearls, so I mean, whatever. However, we get over there, we got to work on getting back too. So um, we got to got to be careful. I've only got 64 torches. Hopefully, that'll be enough for this one run. I think it should be. Uh, Oh, no, no, no. It is. I didn't think about them spawning in here. And I can't light this up because it'll make all this ice turn into water. So, um, as long as he didn't hurt our pig, we're good. I really wish he would stand still and not travel anywhere. Pig. You're mine. Um, hopefully we can get some more to spawn over there, too. That'd be nice. But, uh, man, the wind is really going crazy outside. I don't know... I. I don't know if I talked about it last episode or not, but I don't know if uh, with this weather mod, we have a thing in here called, uh, like the weather mod typically will spawn tornadoes, right? So, tornado. I don't know. I haven't seen one yet, but we can make a tornado siren and a tornado sensor. So, uh, maybe we need to be careful about that. Surfboard. Weather and tornadoes. I don't know if tornadoes are like disabled or what, but we'll have to be careful about that. So let us see. How are we going to get over there? Looks like. Can we maybe mine down from like right here? Over a little bit? And then get there? I don't know. Hopefully. I'm interested to see what this tree is because we could really use a fruit tree. At least for having like multiple time multiple kinds of food. Um Oh holy crap. Okay, so we can get over here. 
that is a definitely a definite thing. Who's shooting? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is kind of dangerous. Okay, let's work on torching things up. What is going on? What is this thing? Green cave crystal. Does that do anything? It doesn't look like it. Alright, that skeleton's over there. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay, so, um, we're down. We made it. We're in the caverns. But we have to work on lighting this place up, man, because it is going to be dangerous if we let things really spawn here. Um, oh, that's another tree right there, too. Okay, cool. White cave crystal. Oh, they found us. Run. Oops. Spam and torches. Spam and torches. Get this. Uh, I'm a weave. Uh, there we go. Got him. Cool. Okay, so we did it. We made it. Let us see what kind of tree this is. It looks like an avocado tree. Avocado. So, I'm not real sure what the best way to go about this is because with these trees, we can chop them down and we have a chance of getting oak saplings. But, I don't think they're going to spawn fruit if we do that. So, the only way to get fruit is to keep them where they are. Um... Looks like we can go down too. This place is kind of frightening, not gonna lie. Let's just go ahead and light this place up so we don't have any guys spawning up here. And we can actually come back and it won't be that big a deal. Can we get up here? What's up here? Got mycelium. Okay. Some wood. Some other things, nothing back here. Oh, lots of zombies though. I can hear them. Let's go ahead and jump down here. Take one of these guys back. Man, those torches didn't last very long, did they? Um, okay, so I th Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Uh, what is it? Oh, that's that blizzard thing. Dang it, man. Okay. Uh, I can't believe I looked at those guys. I didn't mean to. I was just kind of like scanning the area. Dang it. All right, let's get back down there. It should be lit up enough. Nothing's going to spawn on us, at least for a little while. But hopefully that Enderman is not angry at us anymore. <laughs> oh, long staircase, man. Into the depths we go. Here's a skeleton, though. There you are. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's go back down here. <gasps> Pig! What are you doing? Can we... Okay. Are you angry at us still? Please don't be angry at us. I don't think he is. Okay, we got everything. Uh, my boots? Did I lose my boots? I think I probably lost my boots. You know what? I'm gonna try to kill this guy so we can actually get an ender pearl. Okay, sword. All right, come here, Lanky. Oh gosh. Makes me nervous. Okay, cool. If we can get one more Ender Pearl, there's an item that I want to try to check out. It's called a mob magnet. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Let's see if I can get another one of these Endermen up here. Um, where'd they go? Is there one? I'm not seeing one. Hmm. Let's go see if there's one over here somewhere. Light this up a little bit more, a little bit better. But there are lots of ores down here, man. This is going to be good. 
Um, if we can get a little bit more geared up, I would like to get enough iron to get an anvil and then uh, start working on some enchanting. So we can get like basic protection and stuff like that, which would be really nice. So, any more endermen, man? Come on. Nope. Doesn't look like it. So, let's head back over here. Check out these avocados, man. Um, okay, so get rid of this, get rid of that, get over here, shovel, and food. Okay, we're good. So avocado, we these are all mature, as you can see over here at the uh, the Wayla menu thing. So when these guys are growing, it'll show you the the percent of how they grow, and you can't like right click on them. You can right click on them, and you get these little hearts. Uh, see if we can there they go you can see these that means that they're mature and ready to harvest so all we have to do is left click on them and we actually get the thing and then it goes back to this little guy and you can see it's 50% grown so it's kinda cool I like the I like the functionality of this mod so unfulfilling morsel let's see how much hunger this refills oh half a hunger okay so not much but I think we can actually tie it under the tree we can actually make some meals out of this stuff, which is really cool. So if we combine an avocado with an oak sapling, we get an avocado sapling. That's good to know. I guess that's how you can replant them. Um, we can make an avocado burrito. That's cool. But we need cheese, a tortilla, tortilla, um, or chicken, spice leaf. I guess maybe that's another crop we can find. Hmm. So this would be kind of interesting. We need a bunch more of these in order to like really combine them and make use of it, but it'd be kind of cool. So let's go try to check out this other what, what am I getting? Region. Oh, is that from this one right here? What do you give me? Light gray. What do you give me? Haste? Oh, okay. Cool. So, we really need to look into making some of those potion crystals so we can actually set those down around our base. That'd be really handy. Um, only thing I'm worried about is we don't have very many torches left. This tree looks pink. Like it's got something pink on it. All right, so I feel like we're kind of in over our heads here. This is a uh, a dangerous place. It is too big for us to like really work on lighting the place up. We got plums. That's cool. Um, yeah, it is really dark down here. We need to get out of here as soon as we can. Let's take a couple of these plums, and then maybe. Oh man, it's dark over there. Okay. Let's check out these plums and then we're gonna head back up. So, let's see, they're all mature. Did we get them all? I think so. Um, unfulfilling morsels. So these guys are gonna do half a hunger thing too? Yep. Interesting. What am I seeing over here? What's glowing? I don't have any more torches. What is that? I can't see what that is. It is really dark, man. Really dark. Okay, so let's head back upstairs. Uh, sounds like we got a storm or something brewing, man. It's getting really windy. We can hear it all the way down here, too. So um, let's go see what that's all about. What do we have on this sword? Knockback one. Interesting. But yeah, so I think we're going to be moving underground probably next episode. Um, I'll probably work on moving all of our stuff at least down into that one area over there where we got the pig. And then uh, we can do some stuff there. So This is crazy, man. This is really crazy. These caves are so big. If we're lucky, we can actually find some villages down here. Um, abandoned villages and I forgot to mention last episode but there's no strongholds or abandoned mine shafts in this so if we want to try to get to the end or anything like that we actually have to find ender portal frames um, from these little villages down here if we're lucky they're pretty rare but we can find the actual frames in the abandoned chests 
and uh, we can get to the end of that way. But that's going to be kind of tricky, and it's going to take a lot of exploring. So we got to make sure we're prepared and prepped and ready to go. This is probably a stupid idea. Oh, I thought we were good. Let's get up here. Whoa, okay. Up we go. This is so scary. Oh, pig! You're safe! Okay. Let's go. Is that the same pig? I think it probably is. He probably just moved. Yep, he's not over here anymore. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's try something real quick with this bone meal. Let's see if we can get any crops or anything to grow over here. <gasps> Grass. What do we get? Tomato seeds and leek seeds. Interesting. What are those guys? Cucumber seeds and uh, dandelion puff. Peppercorn sapling? We can actually get saplings from bone meal? That's cool. I did not know that. Um, bunch of nothing. What are you? I thought we just, I thought we already had these two. Cucumber seeds. Oh, these are two different kinds of seeds. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. We have so much stuff to grow. This is going to be awesome. It's like Harvest Moon. Um, I'm interested to see what's that way, too. There's so much stuff to explore, man. I love it. Is this like another cave back here? There's more grass. It's really dark, guys. I apologize if you can't see. I uh, just kind of want to poke my head in real quick. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere, though. It goes up. Ooh, okay. Let's go check this out. Where do you go? What do you do? Oh, uh, okay. So, not too much up there right now, but uh, yeah, so it's kind of interesting. We got kind of like these underside glacial things or whatever. It's just a bunch of ice, and we have to be real careful about lighting it up because it will melt, and it'll wash everything away, like wash the torches and everything away, so we don't want to have that happen. We got another blizz guy. Oh, these guys make a scary noise. I don't like that noise, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to head back up, and then we'll kind of check out our bounty here. Okay, so not too bad of a haul, man. We're going to try some of this stuff out. I'm curious to see what we have to plant in order for this stuff to work for us. Um, we probably should put some torches down to get the light levels up and keep the snow from piling up. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of curious as to like what we actually have to plant or what we can just like lay down. So let's get some of this stuff. Tomato seeds. Nothing. Um, and we can't just like till mycelium so we actually have to dig it up and then plant dirt and then hoe it real quick like so tomato crop interesting what is a tomato let's, let's see what do we use tomatoes for tomato whoops what is this oh automated steam trap interesting I spelled tomato wrong tomato 1.5 hunger. Okay, so we've got two different types of tomatoes here. What do we use this guy for? Magical food. Three hunger, health regeneration three. Okay. Tomato juice used with a squeezer. Beef stew. That sounds good. That sounds nice. Chicken stew, lamb stew, and then pork stew. So six hunger, man. These guys really fill you up. That's kind of cool. All right, so we got a couple different uses for that. Not too much yet, since we don't really have any kind of meat. We got pork, but only one piece, so we got to be careful with it. Um, let's see. I'm guessing we're gonna have to plant all of this stuff. So what is this? Cucumber seeds. Plant like that. That's Pam's harvest. Uh, oh, dang it! The water froze. Um. What else we got? Cucumber seeds. OK. 
Okay. So I'll put some more dirt down. Leak seeds. Ooh, that looks cool though. Um, and what else? Is that all we got for seeds? It looks like it is. So can we do something like this and put that on top? I think so, to keep that from melting. So let's do that. And then this peppercorn sapling, let's try to put it right here. Can we do that? Or does it have to be grass? No. Okay, one thing I do want to be careful is I don't want the mycelium to grow on top of this, so... I thought you could get snowballs. Did we not get snowballs? Guess not. Alright, so if we put this cobble around this tree, I don't think mycelium will spread to it, but... I'll have to keep an eye on it, because I don't want this to pop and then disappear, so... That is a problem. We'll get some bones. Do I have any bones? I think I do. This episode is probably running a little pretty long. Show. Okay, we got some bones. Skeletons are kind of hard, man. The zombies track you, so it's really easy for them to just show up at my place here. Um, oh, you're not gonna grow. It's cool that the particles float with the wind, but uh, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Make see if I can get this thing to grow. Put some torches around. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, I think that's going to do it for today. We did pretty good, man. we got lots of food to work with now, so I think next episode we're going to kind of focus on more um, getting set up and getting situated, getting moved and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit that like button. Let me know what you think of this mod pack, man. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I didn't really mention too much last episode, but hopefully within the near future I can try to get this mod pack out to you guys. Um, it seems like getting a mod pack where it's available to the public it's a little bit more tricky than just uploading it and say hey download this um so i don't know maybe that'll be a thing in the future i will let you guys know so stay tuned here and uh for any other information on that i'll let you know guys know as soon as possible but anyways hit that like button for me if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and uh, i will see you guys next time with some more crystal caverns peace